my guy. Get me out this car. She nice and she bad, that's hard to find Get to grabbing my waist when it's spicy time She devious minds to get out of line Touch that and get hurt, she a porcupine She coming for Logan in a costume Train phone off and play dead like a possum She about to chew me like a Charleston Louis her bag in my neck couple thousand What's up you guys, welcome back to another vlog It's been a few weeks since I turned on this camera Child, there's a lot going on I will get into that a little later I had some footage from my birthday which was a month ago and i was supposed to do a separate vlog obviously but because of the events that took place after i ended up not having a chance to actually edit it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to include it into in this vlog so what we're going to do right now is rewind a little bit in three two one hey y'all so good day guess what today is your girl is forever 31 today so i don't have anything planned today to do anything for my birthday but tomorrow i'm going to this barman lounge out in lrc yeah that's where the festivities are gonna be happening but today i'm actually just chilling Yeah, y'all see what I'm doing, right? I just took a shower a little while ago. The BD is supposed to come over here. Hopefully, he'll be taking this one here. Oh, boy. I don't know, he might just be coming to hang out, but I'm not really doing anything today. I'ma just try to chill, cause I'm kinda annoyed already. I ain't gonna talk about it, but oh my gosh, not yet. Oh yeah, stop. My hair is looking crazy right now. But I think I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might just leave it. Cause I'm gonna have to rebrush it up and put my little bun on at some point. I don't even think I'm gonna do anything today. So it, I'll probably just wait till tomorrow. This little boy, he will not stop. He has been on it for the last 48 hours. Just annoying my soul. If y'all see what he's doing. Anyhow, man, I can't remember what I was about to tell y'all. Yeah, so took the shower. Baby daddy coming over here. Um, I feel like, well, I don't know. Like, I got up, first of all, I got up this morning at 6.30 to use the bathroom. And Kyra is in the bathroom already brushing her teeth. And I'm like, sis, what are you doing up? You don't get up until after seven. And she's like, oh, I'm just getting ready. I'm like, you know what? Do your thing, whatever. I know I had another whole hour and a half before I needed to go and get dressed to take her to school or whatever. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm going back in my bed. You go ahead and do your thing. So I was actually up though. I never really went back to sleep. So I've been up since 6.30. But I just feel like half of the day really has gone by and Nothing has really happened. I had to fix my nails this morning. I did them last night. I did them last night. I went shorter this time. And I don't know, it was just bothering my soul because I ended up doing it so late last night. Well, I ended up finishing so late last night. And I just could not sleep. I was just like, no, I have to fix it. Like, it was more so my right hand because obviously I'm not left-handed. So that hand is a little bit more but i wanted to jump back in the bed but then this one right here was already up i'm sorry that the camera keeps shaking because he keeps running over here jumping on me so stop jumping on me thank you yeah so i ain't go back to sleep at all so it is what time is it it's after one i don't even know what time it is it's one something and yeah that's the movements today absolutely nothing he does all day mommy like do y'all for, for this is for the people who have kids right especially little kids do they just be calling you and don't even look your way 
Like, homie calls me and won't even look at me. That's how I know he's just doing it. Like, he don't even have a reason to call me. He's just, mommy. Anyways, baby daddy calling me, so I'll hit y'all in a second. So, I've been back in the house for about an hour. Totally forgot to turn the camera back on. But I end up going out to the park with Naya and his dad. And then we went to go pick up something at the store and then we picked up some food. I got mocha, which I haven't had in a while. And I got Thai mango chicken, which I think next time I would get the shrimp. But it was interesting. Like I've had mango in different ways before, but this one was a little interesting. Um, but I would definitely probably get the shrimp. And what else did I have? I think I had some king crab avocado rolls. Or was it shrimp too? No, I think it was crab. Yeah, so. Come and change your clothes. I just have to go upstairs because this boy is playing in the sink again. That's just like his everyday routine now. At least three times a day, he got to play in the sink. I don't have a light in here. I have to replace the bulbs in this damn light. I don't know what's going on. It's like a special bulb that goes in this um, ceiling fan. But, Lord, it does not last long. And I think the LED, I do have a little lamp here. Boy, come, because your shirt is soaking wet. Oh, my gosh. I wonder if it will stay. No, because you're moving so much. Come. Come take off your shirt. Wait, sit sit up. Sit up. What is what? Yeah, that, that is, but you don't need it. Please. Don't touch the camera because it's not. Mom. Yeah, you need to just put your but pajamas on. Bye. I didn't show y'all the fit today either. Mom. It's nothing. It's just a top with some biker shorts, the matching biker shorts. All right, look, your skin is wet too. Come on, get down. Thank you. Yeah, y'all. So that's pretty much it. The food was cool. It was. It was alright. It was cool. Or whatever. I don't really think I'm going to be doing much else for the night. Oh, you know what I could do right now, though? I ran out of my mango butter. There's a lot of mango going on in this vlog already, isn't it? So I think I'm going to... i got to find a container. I don't know what I do with it. Hmm. I think I'm going to do that real quick because I ran out and and i mean when i when i say ran out i don't mean like i have no more mango butter but i usually whip it so i ran out of the whip stuff so we gotta go melt and make a concoction again i don't know if i'm gonna turn the camera back on tonight well i'm actually on my phone i keep saying the camera because i'm used to having my camera i honestly don't know where my camera is i know it's up here somewhere i have a lot of junk right now i was sorting some clothes out from like all week and right now look at all of this now your stuff i had to rehang some stuff and all kind of stuff so i just have a lot of stuff all over the place but i think it's under something and i don't exactly know where it is nor have i actually looked for it yet so i'm on my phone which is fine i actually like how the phone shoots better than the camera but the camera is definitely more crisp the picture is more solid so i don't know so i'm gonna go do that um if i turn the camera back on for the night then so be it but i pop i probably won't so if anything i'll see y'all tomorrow so i didn't start my makeup y'all it is six o'clock i literally just started putting on my makeup i was supposed to start at 5 30 of course but you know got a little backed up so it shouldn't actually take me that long. I'm using this Gucci um, Natural Finish Foundation. I've tried it out a couple times, but I actually have not um, 
like physically wore it out i recently got the milk um stick foundation or foundation stick flex foundation stick in the color cinnamon and i had this on the other day and oh my god i love it i thought i was never gonna find another stick foundation close to the anastasia one because obviously i think that one's discontinued and i was cool golden like that was the exact match but this one girl this one right here this is it right here but i'm not wearing it tonight because i actually know how that works and i really never wore the gucci one out so i was like maybe i should just try it out and see how it really really wears like i know kind of how it wears but i want to see how it really wears i was supposed to call the spot we're going to just to make sure everything was okay but they got to me first so i just got off the phone with them as well so everything is good to go we kind of have everything all over the place here lord have mercy i usually do my brows before i put on any foundation but we're gonna try something a little different today i'm still over here frying chicken an hour later after i put the first batch on and it's only because like i know this has been a conversation before but i don't know what the hell they pumping these chickens with like the chicken is quite big i don't know well a few chickens because i have several pieces but i don't know like it's just taking longer to cook and obviously you don't want to take it out too early and have uncooked chicken so all right so i'm taking my Too faced board this way and butterscotch and i'm just going to matter of fact i actually want to use two different concealers today and then i'm going to take the la girl pro concealer and this is in yellow corrector which is i think probably the yellowest concealer that they have i could be wrong i'm not sure just right here in the corner i did this the other day and it came out really good but it was a little bit too hmm. i guess when i blended it out it just came a little bit too far further than i would like it it still looks good but it was just like and look i didn't even wash this out from the other day i mean i obviously i just wet it now but girl get like that nice little powdered pattern the first time when i apply it like is that a thing for y'all like you know how it just be like nice and neat like right there just like nice and neat like it'd be taking me like three times to put this thing on before i can get anything going look at this there's powder everywhere and then you don't want to put too much powder on because then it's gonna be but i always set first before i like bake or if i'm even baking at all because sometimes i don't even bake but tonight I didn't do my eyes yet, so that's why. Got me a little powder on here today. And I'm gonna be using Jackie Ina and the Anastasia palette. As much as I love this palette, I have not really got to use it as much. And that's just because I have a whole lot of stuff. I got too much stuff. So I'm gonna use it tonight. I actually kind of been using it a lot here lately. I had a friend of mine who got her makeup done a couple weeks ago and I used it on her and I absolutely loved what I did. Like I wasn't expecting to do this. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have to start using this palette a little bit more often. I actually did a look with this for my B-Day pictures that I posted on Instagram. I'll insert one of the pictures here if you have not seen it. If not, you need to go follow my Instagram. I'm kind of back on there, kind of, sort of. Like, I made the post yesterday for my birthday, and even though people, you know, was giving me good vibes, you know, there's always that one or two persons that, ugh. And I'm just like, y'all about to make me get right back off of Instagram because I'm not about to be dealing with y'all. But, 
yeah, go follow me on Instagram if you're not following me yet. I'm telling you that there ain't no other way. Pack your bags and then you will go away. I'm not gonna be begging you to stay. Me yesterday, I would handle this differently. Things are different, I'm a new me. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. That's not, that's not gonna happen. So, even if you're asking, even, even if you're asking, cause I do. Like, I know of it, but I've never been, like, by it. Isn't that so crazy? Like, let me tell y'all something about New Yorkers. We don't ever see, like, what is it? Like, like we don't ever see, like, the things that people, like, the tourists come to see. Like, we don't ever see those things. We don't ever see those things. Like, we're just here. I actually don't know what the Statue of Liberty is. <laughs> okay, now, I've been to the Statue of Liberty, but the average New Yorker, does not come for the tourist shit like like we never see that like that's so crazy they have like this froze like oh this i thought you meant like it was dumb far this is not far yeah, at all i, I couldn't remember 
where Kyra did her little, um, was she dancing that year? Well, the only year she wasn't dancing was I think she this was year. dancing, no, when we had just come, we were still kind of like in the virtual space. I'm gonna try to look as cute as I can possibly look, but you know. Look at this. Was I recording? I don't even know if I was recording. I'm like, I don't think you were. That's why I asked you, were you recording? When did you ask me if I was recording? When you got Anyways, if y'all missed the whole thing, yes, I just had to pick on the side of the road. I picked in one of these cups <laughs> and one of these big cups, a little bigger than this, and she just asked like, yo, what? Cause she wouldn't have been able to do that. I'm like, <laughs> Look how big! I'm just saying, like that was masterful, you know, like and that I put in the cup. Mind I mean, you, look how big these cups is. Has to be in the cup, but like, My tea is not bigger than this. <laughs> oh my god! Give me out this car. You are ridiculous. I cannot. Listen. Oh my god! I. Listen, it was, hold on, do I have another cup this big? Oh, yes, because we still got ice. And I wiped my hands, so. One of these cups, and like a fourth of these cups, that's what I used. I don't even think I used the whole one of these cups, but you know, I was just, I was just making sure. Anyways, <laughs> I'm weak. How did we get here? Is there more cars than we go? And we're on the highway. What? Tell me. Uh, no more for you. What you mean? I'm not even that drunk. I'm just like a little bit. <laughs> that shit is going too far. Niggas always complain about queens and they potholes. <laughs> you gotta relax. Oh, hello. Oh, I you. Yeah, but it was kind of stuck there. Yo, don't drink and drive. Don't have any open containers in your car either. We're not promoting that. Meanwhile, she got an open container in my Meanwhile, car. I do, but I am not ever promoting. I like my life. You know what's crazy? I can taste the Casa Picos, but I can't even taste the Casa like you know how it be burning? It's not even burning. I think it's because it has water in it. Yeah. Because I didn't even know it was that much water. You need water in it. You should just be drinking water. Right? You should be drinking water right now, but you probably go home. So. No, I'm fine. I'm cool. Like this night did not turn out the exact way that I wanted to, but it kind of did. Yeah. So some some bodies was missing, but. So good. This, folks, was not the plan, okay? Whatever. <laughs> hey, y'all. So, it is Monday. Say hi, Naya. No, you say hi. <laughs> it's Monday, y'all. So, I think I left you guys off with why is always somebody trying to call me when I'm in the middle of filming? Oh my gosh, hold on. It's Grammy. What the hell was that? Anyways, y'all, so. Well, mommy, what be that? I don't know. But yeah, I think the last thing I left you guys with was my birthday celebration at Doha Lounge. My voice is so like right now, but. Yeah, so it didn't exactly go as planned, but it was a cute little spot. Um, I, I would go back. It was cute. Um, I just woke up the next morning just really just not in a great mood. It's just not a great mood. Just because several things were happening. 
prior to uh, me getting there. Like everything that could go bad was going bad. It was very clear that the devil was working that night. Um, so I was kind of already annoyed before I even got there, but you know, it turned out to be good anyway. And thanks to all my peoples, them that showed up and came through for me. But um, yeah, Saturday, I just, I was just not in the mood and I did not feel like filming. Not here. <laughs> I just did not feel like filming anything and yesterday I was in a much better mood but I just I just didn't turn on the camera so it is Monday now I don't have much to do today I'm about to start cleaning the bathrooms and yeah I don't really have anything planned but I did want to come in and check in with y'all since I did not check in the last two days I just didn't want to leave y'all hanging there or even end the vlog just like that. Um, I'm not sure if this is the end of the vlog. It probably is. But yeah, I don't have anything to really do today, so. Okay, so back to present time. It is July 3rd, it is 4th of July weekend. So that pretty much was the footage that I got can't exactly remember everything I got but obviously you've seen it already so that's everything from my birthday and the days after first of all I can't even believe the month went by that fast like where the time go but your girl had a pretty hectic few weeks so let me just backtrack to that right my birthday came that weekend came went the whole following week came and you know my son we was outside a lot like you know he's outside in the backyard playing or whatever just soaking up the sun you know doing what kids do we actually bought him a new bike when his dad bought him a new bike on my birthday so i had set it up that weekend so he was pretty much outside the whole following week after that and of course you know kids they get bug bites and mosquito bites and stuff like that so i, I mean they was tearing me up so i know he was getting bit and I sprayed off and all that on him. But you know, these damn mosquitoes, ugh, they be finding a way around this stuff. Like, I don't know what kind of mosquitoes we got out here now, but these mosquitoes are different. So, he had got what I initially thought were mosquito bites. And now knowing the information that I know now, they possibly were mosquito bites or they started as mosquito bites. But he had these three mosquito bites on his leg, two on one one on the other so you know like when they're that little kids tend to react to these things a little differently than we as adults do like you know you get a mosquito bite it kind of blows up a little bit gets a little red itchy and all of that but then it kind of blisters over sometimes and this is not every kid but most mostly when they're that young they they react different yeah so they tend to react different a little bit than we do because it happened with my daughter she got mosquito bites when she was little and hers used to blister over but nothing ever really came from it it was just you know it blisters over a little bit it burst and then it'll heal up so i didn't think of nothing i didn't think nothing of it so by friday they had started to kind of start blistering a little bit and then saturday you can really see that it was blistering and they kind of like burst and you know like when it leaks that fluid and then it dries down and it has that, like that little crustiness. But for the most part, I was just trying to keep it clean and whatever. So he had actually fell and hurt, like scraped his knee earlier that week. But it wasn't like no big scrape. So that Saturday when I noticed that the blisters had kind of like popped open, um, he had fell again. But this time I wasn't outside with him. Like he was outside my grandparents and his sister. And I don't know if he fell up. I don't know if he fell down. I don't know what happened. But he ended up aggravating that same knee. So he already had a scrape on the knee. Then he aggravated the knee again. So I brought him in the house. Cleaned the knee up because it was bleeding a little bit. And he's, obviously he has that. Now he has the mosquito bites. And then he also had like, which, which I thought were mosquito bites too on his face. Like here and like kind of where I have this breakout here. So it was one here and kind of like one here. So, and they were just red they kind of didn't blister or anything like that they were just red but i didn't really i left it alone because you know it'll come over he wasn't really scratching it or anything like that so 
so I just left it alone. Go sit down with your strawberries, Naya. You're gonna spill them. You finish? You don't want no more? Anyways, so that happened Saturday. And then he also got like, when he fell the second time, he got like, I guess he, I don't know how this boy fell, but he kind of scraped up his eye like around this area too. But when I cleaned him up earlier, like you couldn't see it until later on in the evening when it kind of started to scab over. So all right, boom, that happened Saturday. So Sunday comes now and these bites on his leg have completely burst open and the skin peels back and the skin part where it was open was like red almost like a burn and it seemed to start hurting him so later on that evening when i was looking at it i was like you know what boy i'm talking can i talk yes let me talk um, let me, uh, yeah so it's her you're interrupting my voice all right, no, you shush. Anyways, by that evening now, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just call his doctor in the morning because this did not happen with Cairo. Cairo did not have this experience. Like, it did not look like this. Like, it looked like a burn. It seemed like it started hurting him. And then when I would pick him up, he would start crying like he didn't want me to touch under his arm. So when I gave him a bath that night or when I took all his stuff off, I noticed that it was super red under his arm. Stop, boy. I noticed it was super red under his arm and that his back had like you know like when you have like those small little red bumps like heat bumps it was all over his back so that was another thing when I took his pull-ups off even his little like pee pee was like red and everything seemed like it was hurting him so now I'm like okay no this is something is wrong here he has a stuff on his leg he got the stuff on his pee pee he got this on his back um his face now i noticed like the two marks that was on his face they kind of started to look similar to the bite on his leg and mind you i had replay i had a band-aid on one earlier that day and that morning i had took it off and i replaced the band-aid because he wanted a band-aid as he always does and i thought like maybe i ripped the band-aid off too fast but i know i didn't it started coming up right like in like where the band-aid was earlier that i took off so i'm sitting like what the hell is this so automatically i'm like okay i am this? don't say that <laughs> you gotta watch what you say about these kids he picks up everything so i'm like okay i'm calling the doctor in the morning and i had already said i was going to do that from earlier in the evening but once i gave him the bath and he was so so much in pain i was like let me give him an oatmeal bath because i had some left had a few packets left he didn't even want to sit down in the bath. Like, he really just was hurting. So, at one point, I was thinking maybe I should just rush him to the emergency room. And I was calling his dad, calling his dad, calling his dad from, like, earlier that evening. And, of course, you know these men. They don't answer the phone all the time right away, especially when you need them. Like, <sighs> But he ended up falling asleep. So, I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to do any of that. As long as he falls asleep and he's comfortable then i'll just take him to the doctor in the morning but i really started to like prepare myself to take him to the emergency room that night because homeboy you can tell he was just in pain and he just didn't want nobody to touch him i couldn't pick him up without him crying because i guess he was sore under his arm so by the time the next morning like maybe like 6 30 his dad finally got back to me after i had texted and called him all freaking night and i told him what was going on and i just told him just come because where he was it was like an hour almost an hour and a half out and if y'all know anything about Brooklyn and Queens on a freaking Monday this is Monday the 13th now y'all can you stop repeating <laughs> you know what I'm saying y'all know anything about New York on a Monday morning <laughs> the traffic no matter what expressway you on what parkway you on it, it'd be crazy so I had just told him listen I had to call the doctor at that point because their office didn't open till 8 o'clock so I was just like listen just come or matter of fact I'll call you back when they give me something because sometimes the doctor's office they might take him right away and sometimes they don't which they definitely weren't so when 8 o'clock rolled around I called the doctor's office and you know how they have like when they're not in the office they have you forwarded to like another like system and somebody answers the phone they forwarded me to like another third party 
and I explained to her what was going on. So she said what she'll do is she'll forward an urgent, um, an urgent whatever to stop Nair to the office. So I was waiting for like an hour and a half and I didn't get no call back. Hold on y'all, my battery about to die. Let me switch it. A whole hour and a half went by and I didn't get no call back. So I was like, listen, I'm calling them again because I'm about to take them to the emergency room. But my grandmother was like, no, call them back and let them know or whatever. So I called back and finally got the direct office. So the girl, she didn't know what the hell I was talking about, but she said, let me holler at the nurse and I'm, you know, I'm gonna get back to you. I waited for her and she said, the nurse actually said that I was actually next on the list for her to call and she did get the message. The nurse called back like maybe in like five or 10 minutes after I spoke to the lady at the desk. And I was explaining to her what was going on and what I, what he was experiencing and whatever. So she was like, well, you know, the earliest I can get you in here is 1 o'clock. So mind you, it's 10 o'clock now. And I'm like, you know what, that's not going to work for me because my baby is in pain, okay? And it's uncomfortable for him to sit. It's uncomfortable for him to lift his arm. He doesn't want nobody to touch him. I said, to be honest with you, I'm just going to take him to the emergency room. So she was like, that's fine. We'll just, um... We'll make sure that they keep us updated and whatever. So took him to the children's hospital out here. And literally, I think we got there at like quarter to quarter to 11. Because by the time I finished getting off the phone with her and making sure he had his stuff in his bag and stuff, it was after 10 o'clock. And um, we got there like quarter to 11, 11 o'clock. And we were there until maybe... I want to say 6:30 ish. I can't remember exactly what time until they were able to figure out that it possibly was a staph infection. Now, mind you, I've heard of the term before, but I didn't like. I never followed up to find out what it is because I've never had any experience with it. But my grandmother actually kind of sort of knew what it was. His grandmother, his his dad's mom, she knew what it was, and then. You know he has um his aunt and his and her husband or whatever they um their doctors so they knew what it was um <laughs> but i was not familiar with it at all but the thing about him is he had it's like i don't want to say two levels but there is a more severe one and that's the one where the skin burst open and it looked like it's a burn and it hurts and that's the one he had in that case they would have to treat him with antibiotics through an IV, which means homeboy had to stay over. So now I'm like, we've been in here for almost seven hours. Now I'm finding out, you know, they finally, matter of fact, the doctor, the main doctor that was on call, she called down the dermatologist and they were all able to congregate and come up with what they thought it was. So, um, while out you see i don't ever have a place where i could just talk without noise but anyways so he ended up having to stay over and i thought it would just be like a day or two <sighs> Child, we was in there from monday morning all the way till thursday evening thursday evening to like seven o'clock everything just was like going crazy and then mind you while we was in the emergency room there were other spots on his face that were popping up like his skin like there was parts of his skin like if you touch it just touch it, it would start peeling. I had never seen no shit like this in my life, y'all. I swear to everything. And I'm just like, at that time I was like, what is going on? But what they explained to me was that, you know, it happens in kids a lot. I didn't know what a staph infection was. Basically, it's just bacteria on the skin surface. And it usually wouldn't bother you unless in the skin is opened of some sort. So if you fall, if you get a scrape, if you get a cut, even a mosquito bite if the mosquito lands on that spot where the bacteria is living and they penetrate it pushes that bacteria in and now it causes this whole crazy thing to happen now i'm thinking back like was it the scrape he got last week or was it the mosquito bites it started as mosquito bites like i know what it was but at least i was more comfortable knowing like it was something that kids tend to get and that you know it, there was some type of cure of some sort which is just antibiotics or whatever that happened and then i guess because they had him hooked up to the iv and they were giving him fluid as well 
because he wasn't necessarily eating like he normally would and wasn't drinking like he normally would so they just wanted to make sure that he had enough fluid in him so by tuesday night he kind of started getting like puffy in the face so they was they were telling me like it's probably the fluid that's making him swell up a little bit but when he woke up wednesday his whole like face was like a blowfish even his eyes like you couldn't even see his eyes like i was like baby can you even see like he could see me but i'm like i don't think he could see with his eyes that closed but um they ended up calling in an eye doctor and i thought that probably was probably the worst of everything because wednesday night the eye doctor came and they just wanted to make sure that it wasn't anything going on with his eye but he had to like take samples with a q-tip and then there's this other little tool he uses and you know they have to dilate the eyes and put eye drops and stuff like that and oh my god now mind you Naya was already in pain just from all these things on his body now my homeboy just was not having it like he was screaming like to the point where me and his dad had to hold him down in order for this man to do his job and like listen for y'all that don't have kids like I don't think y'all understand what that does to the heart like that just i had to do it and i know i had to do it but it just took a lot out of me like i poker faced it all the way through but it really was a lot like i ain't slamming the door like that it really was a lot because he was just aggravated and even there was a point in time where the doctor's like okay i can't do this like this let me see if they can give him like benadryl or something to like calm him down and then we had to revisit it again which i don't think the benadryl worked he said it kind of calmed him down, but I didn't see the bitch real calming him down at all. That was just probably the most heartbreaking moment because like nobody wants to, their child to go through any kind of pain like that. And then mind you, all day doctors are in and out the room, nurses are in and out the room. They even had medical students there training. So, you know, he's two years old. He's looking at these weird people and he's scared. So it was definitely a lot. And what else happened? Oh, and then, he started on his back he started getting like you remember I was telling you it looked like little fine heat bumps he started getting these spots on his back so you know the doctor would come in periodically and check him and she noticed it and she was like he didn't have these on his back before and I was like no it definitely did not look like that so she was like you know talking to the other doctor and they was congregating and and she was like you know, we can tell the stuff on his leg and even on his face are like a staph infection. But she was like, these spots are not related to what we would consider a staph infection. So they ended up running some more tests on him and it comes down that he had a common cold virus, something that kids normally get. It was literally just a cold. Um, he did have a runny nose the last two days before I brought him to the hospital. So that's probably what it was from, but he definitely had a little like cold virus and the virus is related to what they call hand foot and mouth infection kids get that all the time we boiled it down to he had a staph infection along with a cold infection that was also like hand foot and mouth the only thing was he really didn't have anything on his arms and his hands at first and his feet were clear that's the only thing with that but then once he got home the next day i started to notice that his his hands started peeling like the skin was like i don't know it was his hands just started peeling but yeah he it was just a crazy experience like i think the eye thing was probably the most traumatic because he was getting a, a scab in his like waterline like can, have you guys ever seen a scab in your waterline like literally where the eyeball and the lid meet like in between the eyeball and where the hairs of his lashes are coming out like i've never seen nothing like that like and that's such a, a moist area like you wouldn't think it would start to like scab in between i had never seen nothing like that in my life so that probably was outside of you know the skin kind of bursting open and stuff like that the eye thing was probably the most traumatic part of the whole experience but for me the whole thing was just like crazy because there was a there was one point where he was laying on my chest with like his chin was on my chest and we were just laying down together i was on the bed with him and his eye was so swollen and his face was so swollen and he kind of just looked at me and his eyes were tearing i don't think he was crying i think just with everything going on with his eyes it was tearing but he just looked so helpless and so hopeless 
and I started tearing up because all we could do was just wait for the medicine to really start working and doing what it needed to do. And it just was like, I wouldn't want any parent to have to experience that. You know, I have Kyra and you know, the most that she's done is bust a, a, her eyelash and jumping around and hitting the, um, the counter. And I had to take her to the emergency room and they just gave her like, they just glued it. They didn't even stitch it up, they glued it. So I've never really had any crazy things with her. So I really wasn't expecting to have anything going with him. But if you're a new parent too, like, and if you're just happen to be watching this, go with your first instinct. Because had I taken him to his regular doctor, like that would have been three hours I was backed up. And only thing they would have did is send me to the hospital with him so they probably wouldn't have been able to come up with something until maybe 11 12 o'clock at night whereas i just was like you know what i'm taking my baby to the hospital i'm not waiting till no one o'clock three hours or whatever and mind you you know i'm not really all that crazy about hospitals you know i would prefer to take him to his re regular pediatric just because you know this doctor is familiar with the patient but in this instinct i was like you know he needs immediate care right now so if you're a first time parent go with your first instinct even if it's something that you're not sure if you're comfortable with or you know you're not really uh about just do it if your instinct is telling you to do it do it it's really nice outside yeah that was my crazy ordeal experience with Nayer and then it's so crazy because that Monday that I took him to the hospital I had had a whole like content thing planned out and I had like two or three things that I wanted to do that whole week so I ended up not doing it obviously and then the next week came and I just did not feel like turning on the camera I was just trying to get myself together because it was just a lot going on and then he still had doctor's appointments he had to go see an eye doctor for a follow-up um he was supposed to see a dermatologist this past week but they were they're so booked up until like i think the lady said september but because he's coming out of the er they finally called me this week and they set up an appointment sometime in the middle of this month you know it was just a lot i just did not feel like turning on the camera yeah my baby was like a whole hot mess for the most part he came home that thursday and i would say i mean even before he came home he was definitely in high spirits he was kind of running around the hospital room and you could just tell he was getting back to normal but he just still looked crazy so by, by saturday his face had pretty much went down i was still giving him the antibiotics they gave me to take home he had um some ointment he had to put on his skin he had even had eye ointment so <laughs> Um, but he he bounced back just like that, so I'm happy about that. But oh, child, I don't want to go through that again. And I even asked the doctor. I was like, um, is there a chance that he can possibly like <laughs> go through this like again? Like, is it something that's contagious or it can probably? And he was like, he probably won't go through it again. But there's always a chance that something could happen again. But you know do the normal things that we supposed to do make sure you're washing your hands and you know the things that we've been doing for the last two years that they been well first of all we all should have been doing that long before that but especially these last two years they've been advising people to definitely make sure that you wash your hands you change your clothes when you need to as often as possible especially when you come home from the street so that's the only way that you can just try your best to avoid these type of things but i'm gonna put the name of the actual infection that he had across the screen so you guys know because it, it's the staph is the short term for it and then you can have a staph infection and it not really like do anything but then there's like this like the skin syndrome part of it i'll put it up here so you guys can see it and y'all can kind of like research it if you're interested but anyways I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Oh my God, this lighting looks bananas. I hope it doesn't look bad on you guys. And, but yeah, so <laughs> I am like in the middle of trying to start cooking. I'm about to cook some, um, some stew chicken, but I have forgot to tell y'all earlier. Um, well, update y'all on this hair. Y'all know I combed out my locks like two months ago now. And, um, yeah. I was a nice little 
loose natural for a month but guess what i'm over it it's done it's out of here i retwisted my hair like three weeks ago and then that was the same weekend i ended up having to take naya to the hospital and it was looking okay at first but then i don't know like something was going on with the twist and it just was looking real shitty so i ended up retwisting it this past friday and it looks way better it's still kind of like you know all over the place it's not as fresh as i would like it to look and then i have one in the back i don't know why it like untwisted i don't know if y'all can see like there's a space here and i had some faux locks in like a week and a half ago with the other twist out and when i took it out a lot of them was like this anyway so i was just like you know what i'm about to do this whole thing over because i had crocheted in there but i didn't put like no rubber band or anything on it i just kind of like had my hair like this and then just crocheted through so yeah we are on a lock journey number two hopefully i end up liking this way better than the last one when i did it um a couple weeks ago i kind of round parted it i don't know exactly what they call that but yeah it wasn't working out so this one i did it more like a diamond part but it's kind of more triangle in the top and then i have this one like smack in the middle that i'm probably gonna have going this way yeah so you know we're gonna see what happens in the next month or two hopefully i don't have any problems again because the last time when i locked my hair i coiled it i didn't double strand twist it so this time i'm like well let me double strand twist it and see what it does and my hair started like semi budding maybe like after like three months and then around like six months that's when it was like that in between phase it was like you could see some of the coils parts but then it was kind of like starting to lock in certain places so yeah we're gonna see what this does over the next two months hopefully i don't come up with any more bright ideas i'm ready to just leave it alone at this point good morning you guys or I should probably sleep good afternoon because it's definitely after 12. Good afternoon, guys. So today is Monday, 4th of July, whatever you want to call it. I just got up not too long ago. Kind of got a late start to the day. Just came downstairs. I'm trying to open up these shades in the house. These window shades. I am about to go and take out, um, you know, like the hot dogs and the hamburgers and i think i have some corn downstairs that was frozen so that they can thaw out a little bit before i put them on the grill i'm not actually gonna start until probably about maybe 2 30 3 o'clock but i want to take them out early so that they'll be ready yeah it's really bright outside right now so i'll probably go put it in like um a container and maybe sit it outside in the back in the sun and let it kind of like do its thing.